the perfect knitted bow. Hi guys and welcome to Studio Knit. Today we are going to learn how to knit my favorite knitted bow. I've tried knitting other bows, but the garter stitch and stockinette stitches, they just seem to wilt. Knitting this bow in the seed stitch gives it character and a material strength. While finishing my pom-pom beanie, I thought adding a red bow might be a cute accessory, and it is totally adorable. I first learned how to knit this bow from the great pattern on buttons and pickles. Links to the pattern and all additional information, including how-to video knitting tutorials, are linked in the description below. Oh, and if you think this easy seed stitch bow looks like a lot of fun to wear, please hit like to let me know you would like to see more videos like this. So let's get started. The materials we will use are any yarn of your choice. Then two straight knitting needles in the appropriate size for your yarn. Scissors and a tapestry needle. To make this particular large size bow, we will first cast on 15 stitches using the long tail cast on method. I'm using worsted weighted yarn and number seven knitting needles. Knitting this pattern in different sizes is totally easy. Let's do the math. In this one, we are casting on 15 and then we are knitting 30 rows. So if you cast on less, let's say you only cast on five stitches like I did for this little tiny guy, then we will knit twice as many rows, so that'll be 10 rows, and we're done. Since we have cast on an odd number of stitches, our seed stitch will be super easy. All we do is knit one, purl one. That's K1, P1 on every single row, and in this case, for 30 rows. So easy. Here we are halfway through, having knitted 15 rows. The seed stitch is so pretty, and by pinching it here in the middle, we can see how our bow is shaping up. Once you have knitted all of your rows, it's time to bind off. Then cut your yarn with your scissors and thread your tapestry needle. Folding your bow into fourths like this, just tack the middle of your bow and then wrap the yarn around it to complete it. You're done! So cute and easy. Looks adorable. You have just learned how to knit a bow in Seed Stitch. I hope you're inspired to give this quick knit project a try. And thank you so much for watching Studio Knit. When you subscribe, you will receive a new knitting lesson every Monday. Check out my popular video on how to knit a heart and a pom-pom hat like Beyonce. Also check out my latest knitting vlog to get to know me, Kristen, behind the scenes. Bye!